Hey guys, Block Central here, and I am back with some Evergleam Hill. So this is a mobile mining game. I just recently uh, I made a video on it over the site, and uh, this is the actual game itself. Uh, I am playing currently on iOS, and yeah, so this is the tutorial. So I'm starting up my character. That's right, that is me. And uh, yeah, so this is a fun, as I said, uh, little mining uh, mobile game where you go out and you send your character here uh, to different uh, parts of the land to try to mine gold, and then you send that gold and uh, convert it to the hot token, and then you can spend that hot token on, uh, you know, it's traded on exchanges or get coupons and in-game rewards. All right, hopefully this loads soon. So here is the world. Here's my character, Block Decentral, that I created. So as soon as he wakes up and go and start checking out this world around me. And uh, yeah, so this game seems like it's got a nice little bit of content so far. Uh, not too, too much. All right, who do we got here? Uh, if you're not dreaming, uh, your name and an old man is watching you sleep. Bob. Bob is the old man watching me sleep. You are in Everdream Hills. There's not a great deal to do. Heard of all the gold. First, uh, you enjoy Evergreen Hills, Evergleam Hills. Uh, take good care of it. Uh, they look useful. Use your legs, obviously. You don't need to read too much into it, obviously, if you want to pause and read specifically all the tutorial, uh, you know, jargon. Great job moving around. You get to use your own interface. Uh, so, you know, just kind of the nice little basics of the game. Apparently got some uh, in-game coins. Uh, up here in the top right corner, you have the uh, H token, that little gold round one. That's the hot token. So, uh, you go and you mine. Uh, you try to find gold uh, in the world where you go and mine at. And then uh, you convert that gold to bars. And then you convert those bars into that hot token. And then that's the uh, that's the real currency. So that's how you make your uh, you know your real money, your actual fiat USD, you know Ethereum, Bitcoin, crypto, and uh, yeah. So this is the world of Evergleam Hill. Hmm, it looks pretty expansive so far. You got some nice, uh, very uh, detailed 3D you know trees and hills. That's nice bridge. Ooh, water. Uh, so it looks like they, you know, spent a nice bit of time on the graphics of this game. Looks real nice so far. And from the site, it still said that it was coming soon. So uh, I'm sure that most of this game is still in development and being worked on. So, you know, whatever I get a chance to check out, that'll be nice. Uh, gold, gold, gold. More about mining the gold. If you're smart, you can use the information. Uh, apparently that's good. Let's take this one step at a time. I am Gold Woman Sachs. I once made someone a millionaire just by blinking at their bank account. Lol. Uh, come to me when you want to mine or tap the map icon, whatever that means. And when you do, this happens. So this is our world. Here we got Evergleam Hill. We got, what was that, Sierra Sayatuia Forest of Fortitude. Uh, apparently that's going to be where we're going to start heading off. There we got the amount of gold that is left, so apparently in this game there is a limited amount of gold that you can earn, and uh, that right there shows you the amount of gold in each of these, uh, you know, areas of the game. So I'm not sure exactly what happens once that hits zero, however it appears that there's over 200 million gold left in it, so uh, that's going to take quite a while to hit zero. Uh, we still got 42 million on average around left in each one of these plots of land. Uh, that is a plot of land. That's where you'll be going to mine. Uh, like the regions, the amount of gold left. This is the cost of the cheapest ticket. Let's go. So we'll tap on this region and we'll go and check out this little area. Here we got the uh, tickets. So it looks like the cheapest one is 200 silver coins. And then it goes up into gems of which I have none. Uh, there are many other dreamers there. Uh, this might be something. The odds of finding resources on the plot. So there's things other than gold that can earn the game. There's crafting resources, clothing resources, uh, helper resources, a bunch of different um, things that you can use to make and build and craft and uh, add content to the game. Resources will be very important to you. Activities, you need resources. So yeah, as you said, uh, little uh, other side things to add, you know, content and depth to this game. Uh, so most of that I don't think is out yet. However, we'll see. 
Uh, allows you to run around unsupervised with a pickaxe. Each plot has three potentials, uh, rent times. So two minutes, two minutes and 30 seconds, and three minutes. Uh, higher tickets, better chances. So this right here has 200% chance of finding gold. Uh, the silver has 600%. Gold has 1200%. Uh, you can mine all day, but the chances get lower every time you go and mine. Pretty standard stuff. They don't want you to be able to, you know, earn too much gold and, uh, you know, make too much money and, you know, just continually, uh, you know, you know, uh, mine out and take all the gold that they have in the game right off the bat. So, you know, they got to find some way to limit it, and it seems like a decent way. All right, so, hey, it's Bob again. So, you met Gold's Woman Sacks. Uh, it's only sometimes... Uh, this tells the amount of time you have left. So this is the area I go to mine. So you can see my pickaxe there that I'll use to mine. Uh, apparently I can have two at once. Right now I only have one. I'm not sure how I get other pickaxes or better quality ones. If I can upgrade them, maybe that's something I can do with the resources I get in the game from mining. That'd be really cool. Uh, you can see up in the corner, top left, that I am level one. I have no gold. Uh, there is apparently a lot of gold, 99, you know, whatever left. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so I got two minutes to start mining as soon as that starts. Apparently, this is still the tutorial. Certain tools are better than certain surfaces, so if your mining takes too long, uh, switch areas, switch uh, pickaxes, try to make it to the most prime area. Keep mining until your time runs out. So it starts, you know, the timer counts down, you click a plot of land, or, you know, just a spot on that land. You start mining it. Once the time, you know, goes down, uh, you know, it takes a few seconds, some resources pop out, and then that area is considered dug up. Uh, so then you have to go and click on a different area. As you can see, it changes from, you know, grassy to uh, it looks like, you know, it's been, you know, digged or dug or whatever into. And then you have to go and click a new area on the map. Make sure to go back and collect the resources because it's not automatically going to collect for you. And uh, try to find some gold. So as you can see, it's not the easiest to just dig up gold. You mostly get crafting resources and other types of uh, items that are not directly gold. So they make sure to, uh, you know, splice up and, uh, you know, mix up the content of the game by giving you different resources that you can use for the different activities. Uh, maybe, you know, change up your clothing, maybe upgrade your pickaxes, maybe, uh, you know, get some in-game items that you can then trade or sell to other, you know, people for the hot tokens themselves instead of just directly earning gold. So, the, you know, they want to add, uh, you know, as much content as they can to this game. Obviously, that area is off access off limits but uh, yeah they don't want it to just be you know start the game go and mine up gold and then convert that gold to hot tokens and exchange it and you know that's it because you know the game would get very boring very quick all the you know resources would get um, you know depleted very fast by all the whales that would come in and just spend all their time doing nothing but digging up the resources and they would find the easiest ways to do it to make everyone else you know get practically nothing and make it you know inefficient to play for anyone besides the whales as you can see there uh, that resource I'm gonna have to go back and collect because it didn't just automatically grab it go and run around so so far I haven't gotten any gold yet this level I have gotten a good bit of resources uh, but as you can see I spent um, was it a hundred silver coins on this so the silver coins are ones that you can earn in the game for free uh, you can earn them at different points of the day, you know, as you would uh, just like in-game coins. So you don't actually have to spend money on that. So you can just kind of play this game casually for free uh, because I care for you. Uh, you click on the screen to speed it up. It's a nice little thing. And then it'll go and uh, collect up all the resources that you got from mining. That'll show you all what you got. Those are my ingredients. They are used to cook mysterious, uh, you know, ingredients. Those are minerals. They are used for forge, repair, and enhance tools. So that's a lot of content on its own. Uh, worms we call bait. Uh, bait is used to fish, uh, non-fish. So you apparently can fish in this game. Uh, materials used to craft new pieces of clothing for yourself and decorations for your house. So obviously the house definitely comes into the game a good bit. And then recipes. So recipes like I'm assuming things like food and potions and other items like that. Uh, give me a special offer so every time you go and uh, mine an area the time or uh, percentage um, of gold you know drop chance so it's 200% now next time I go and mine it's going to be 150% uh, 
uh, and then after that it'll probably be like 100 and then 50 percent and get lower and lower and then it resets every three hours so that keeps you from just continuously going back and mining and uh, you know as I was saying digging up all the gold right away it, it definitely uh, makes you you know space it out and uh, you know consider uh, uh, when you play this game and uh, you know, but makes you come back to it, uh, you know, day after day because, you, you know, you can't just do it all at once and then, you know, be done. You have to, you know, repeatedly come back and play it. But, um, you know, as they add content, it's definitely going to be worth it. And uh, depending on the items that you can get with the hot tokens and from the in-game currency, uh, it should definitely be worth playing. I know I saw on the site that uh, they had things like watches and uh, uh, tablets. So as you can see, you click on the you know bag, click on the worm, and this is where you go and get free coins. Click on the stars, and you get yourself some free coins. Uh, this is you know what you spend to get the um, get the tickets to go and mine. So then the stars will come and you know pop up. You have to click five of them, and then I got 67 coins. So I can spend that back on you know get myself another voucher, go out to the mine, uh, try to dig up some gold. And then apparently I can do that a couple times per day. So, you know, just go back on repeatedly, collect myself some free coins, go and spend that in the mine, and uh, earn myself some resources. So that's pretty much it for this game. Go and check out some of the other things before I hop off. But that was pretty much, uh, you know, mining and um, the majority of the game at the moment. So you can see, go and check out other areas. The rest of it is pretty much closed. So, you know, hop over up in uh, up in the top area. We'll be checking out in the next video. Uh, that's like the bank where you go and convert your, you know, gold to bricks into hot tokens and things like that. These are all the extra side shops that you'll spend your, uh, you know, in-game items and resources on. You know, clothing and upgrades and pickaxes and things like that. Uh, here is the map, the Evergleam. Uh, hills, uh, you know, just different parts of it, uh, Green Nest Grove, the different areas, some are still locked because of my level and things like that. Alright, so I think I'll just head back to my house and I'll end it here. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Don't forget to check out our Patreon page. Uh, you know, help us, um, you know, keep doing this, keep investing in these projects. And uh, keep bringing you the best and latest crypto content. I'll definitely be back with some more on this game. Hope to see you all then. So take it easy. Peace out.